Good morning children. Last class we have read the story and I hope you all have understood and as well as I have assigned you two activities and I hope you have done those also. So today we will be discussing about the remaining exercise. So let's look into the exercise. So last class we have already discussed the uh, tick the correct option and fill in the blanks. So this class I will uh, give you the question answer for this chapter. So let's see the question answer. Now I want you all to take your English notebook and a pencil and write down the question answer. So let's discuss. The first question may I live in your branches to keep warm from north wind. And based on that sentence, they have asked the question, who said these words and to whom? So as per the story, the little bird said these words to willow tree. Now let's see the second one. Who did the speaker ask for help before going to this tree? The speaker asked help from the oak tree. Next one. What reply did the speaker receive? The speaker received a reply from the oak tree which was, do I know you? We willow never talk to strangers. Leave me alone. So now let's see the second one. Who knows what you will get up in that time? So let's see the question. Who were these words spoken to? These words were spoken to little bird. Let's see the B. What was the reaction of the listener? The little bird was puzzled. What do you think about the speaker? The speaker is selfish and unkind. Hope you have noted this. Now let's see the question answer. Why was the little bird left alone in the forest? The little bird was left alone in the forest because he had broken his wing. Let's see the second question. Why wouldn't the willow help the bird? The willow wouldn't help the bird because they never talk to strangers and little bird was a stranger to the willow. Now let's see this third question. How did the bird feel when he was speaking to the spruce? The little bird felt relieved and happy while speaking to spruce. Let's see the next question, fourth. How did the pine help the bird? Pine said to the little bird that his branches are not very thick, but he is big and strong. Thus can protect him from north wind. Let's see the last question. Why did Frost King spare the leaves of the spruce, pine and juniper? The Frost King spared the leaves of spruce, pine and juniper because they were kind towards the helpless little bird. So I hope you have noted down the question answer. Now let's move on to the next page, number 8. Exercise D, think and answer. According to the story, the unkind trees talk amongst themselves. They had their reason for not letting the little bird stay. Do you think the reason were fair enough? The next question, what lesson does the story teach us? So children, what you need to do is you have to write down the answers for these questions. You have to think, you have to write your, in your own words in your English notebook and send us a picture of it. So mark it as a homework. Now let's move on to values and life skills. 
Here you can see a picture. Imagine that Anika is a new student in your class. This is her first day. How do you think she feels on her first day at school? And what could you do to help her settle in? See to this picture and based on this question, you have to write your answers. You can discuss with your parent and write down the answer in the notebook and you can send it to us. Now let's see phrasal verbs. So what are phrasal verbs? A phrasal verb is a phrase made up of verb and a preposition or an adverb. So the preposition or adverb changes the meaning of the verb. So we have to read this sentence, kindly look into your reader. The other trees looked on and talked among themselves. Here looked on mean to watch something without participating in it. So looked on is a phrasal verb. Here they have given few more uh, phrasal verbs. Look into which meaning of it is to investigate. Look after meaning is to take care. Look forward to eagerly wait for something. Look to to depend on someone for help. Now you have to match the following verbs with its meaning. So you can see the first one phrasal verb they have given is take after. Let's see what is the correct answer for it. Is it to confess, to faint, to escape or to look like someone, to enter by force or to accept something? So take after meaning to look like someone. So first this is the answer for the first one take after to look like someone. Now let's see give in the phrasal verb give in. The correct answer for this would be to accept something. So likewise you can match, you can write the correct answers. Now let's see the next one, break into. For break into the answer would be to enter by force. Now next one, blackout. The answer would be to faint. get away, to escape. Now last one, own up to confess. So hope you have matched it correctly. Now let's look into the next exercise, nouns. Nouns are of four kinds, proper noun, common noun, collective noun and abstract noun. We already know proper what is proper noun, what is common noun and what is collective noun, right? So now the new one is like abstract noun. So what do you mean by abstract noun? Abstract noun, they are the names of ideas or feelings. We can say for example, kind hearted or happy, sad, joy, likewise. So. Here, read the passage and underline the different kinds of nouns from the passage. You may find proper noun or common noun, collective noun or abstract from this passage. So you have to underline those nouns. So this you can do it as a homework. And in the next class, we will discuss the answer for this.